Hey guys, it's Sandy. Welcome back to Cute Polish. You guys have been requesting another nail care video on how to grow long, strong, and beautiful nails. And we love Hannah's natural nails, and we know you guys do too. So today she will be sharing her personal tips and tricks on how she maintains them. Hi, it's Hannah, and I'm really happy to bring you my nail care routine, plus some nail tips to get your nails looking nice and healthy. So let's get started. First, I always file my nails to trim them a little and even them out. You can also check out my video here on Cute Polish for shaping oval nails, it'll be linked below. Next, I soak my nails in warm water for about 5 minutes to soften the cuticles. Then I apply some cuticle remover and let it soak for 3 minutes. This will soften the dead skin even more so that it'll be easier to remove. Now I'm going to take a cuticle pusher and gently push back my cuticles while also going in a slight circular motion. The circular motion helps pull off the dead cuticle skin. For any hangnails, I'll be using some nippers to carefully clip them off. Next up, I'll be applying cuticle oil to restore moisture and keep my cuticles from drying out. Cuticle oil not only keeps your nails looking healthy, but also helps them grow. Finally, I'm applying hand cream to keep my skin looking good too. Alright, so now for the nail tips, the first one is to exfoliate your hands. I do this around once a week, it really leaves your skin looking and feeling soft. I also love using soy polish remover as much as possible. It's a very gentle natural alternative to regular remover. Instead of drying out your nails, it actually moisturizes them. Since it doesn't have all those chemicals, it may take slightly longer to remove the polish, but if you let it soak a little, it shouldn't be a problem. I find that when I use soy remover more often, it keeps my skin from peeling and looking cracked and dry. Once you're done removing your polish, you can just wipe away the excess and it basically looks like you just moisturized. If you aren't able to get your hands on soy remover, just be sure to hydrate your nails after using any remover that's super drying like acetone. Also, a good tip for growing longer nails is to gently massage the cuticle oil into your nails. Use light pressure which will get the blood flowing and promote nail growth. Now if you don't have cuticle oil, cooking oil is a great alternative. I like using grapeseed, coconut, or olive oil. This is also a great hand moisturizer, but it is a bit greasy, obviously. So make sure you do this when you have some downtime so you can let it soak and not get everything you touch oily. Using a keratin treatment is another way I keep my nails looking good. This particular one helps remove white spots, splitting, and peeling. Plus helps your nails become thicker and stronger along with improving the overall condition. I apply this once a day and you can also apply it over nail polish. So that's it for this video, I really hope this has helped you and you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more videos on Cute Polish, you can click here or here and be sure to subscribe right here. And if you'd like to check out my personal nail channel, click the link in the description. Thanks for watching, bye!